Hi everybody, it is April 22nd, 2016. I have bookmarked articles over the last month, but a lot of them are very recent, within the last two weeks. I want to show you how deep-rooted is our police state, our surveillance state, here in what was once the freest nation in the world. We still have many Americans who are denying reality, refusing to acknowledge what our country is today. It is absolutely a police state, and it will get worse every single day. More and more Americans suffering the consequences of this police state, and the only way to reverse it is to wake up those Americans who still believe that they're living in a free society. This was just posted today. Police state paranoia apps make it easier to report suspicious people. The police are making, putting apps on phones for Americans to spy on other Americans and make it easy for them to report suspicious activity. Police state madness, couple facing three months in jail for overdue library books. Rather than ending NSA's key surveillance tool, White House to now let other agencies use it. Every federal agency is spying on their employees. Police appeal to lawmakers for future options on arming drones. Man sentenced to two years of probation, a thousand dollar fine for peaceful Facebook post about corrupt cops. And so it begins. American police start pushing to weaponize domestic drones. Bomb squad called. Neighborhood evacuated just to recover box of old ammo. More on why weaponized cell phone towers are popping up everywhere. FBI quietly changes its privacy rules for accessing NSA data on all Americans. The Pentagon admitted it has been deploying military drones over the United States to spy on Americans. Spring break in a police state? Cop drones spying on partying kids to bust them for victimless crimes. The iPhone is just the beginning. FBI already accessing your DNA. iPhone's just the beginning. Obama just announced he wants a backdoor to everything. America has nearly half a million people in jail who haven't been convicted of a crime. Department of Homeland Security, the FBI, Intrado Communications. They're all giving your homes a threat assessment. Ever call the police? Have a misdemeanor? You could be on the terrorist watch list. Modern warfare just changed. Laser weapons are ready for use. When you read that headline, think about the headline about the police wanting armed drones. Obama seeks Silicon Valley aid to spy on social media. Why are educators learning how to interrogate their students? New Jersey Transit is recording the conversations of thousands of passengers. Court rules warrantless collection of cell phone location data constitutional. Why is the federal government installing mysterious boxes on utility poles? U.S. government sets record for failing to find records requested by the public. Our government has become exceedingly secretive. FOIA requests, file them and see if you will get the documents that you have requested. Court rules police can legally make up lies to pull people over to fish for criminal behavior. After fighting for freedom, a 76-year-old vet is sentenced to die in prison for treating his illness with cannabis. This is the most frightening. Denver schools to patrol students with military-style rifles. And it's a speed trap. California cops to check bicycle speed with radar 
and ticket fast bikers. The police now ticketing bikers. The links are below to every article if you have people in your life that are still denying this police state that we are living in, circulate this information.